Yo, yo, what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a sage who rises today. I will be doing the sun, moon rising of Capricorn. So let's get into it. So angels, so Capricorn, we got fantasy. So somebody is either in some type of illusion, confusion, or fantasy. This could be you, this can be them. And this is causing conflict. This is causing somebody to have differences with you. It's like you guys are clashing and incompatible because of some type of fantasy. You could be dealing with a twin flame. Okay. What's going on? Yeah, there is some type of influence here. And this influence could be an attachment, a third party, or someone's peer. Okay. <laughs> with bluff. Yeah, somebody's bluffing here. They're pretending and they over exaggerate. This is somebody who is very conflicted within. This is somebody who is, you know, it's like another thing, Capricorn. I could be talking to a divine masculine or this could be pertaining to your divine masculine. This person is conflicted. They're going through some type of, it's like they allowed a third party to put them in an illusion about you. And now this person is like pretending. This is why you guys are incompatible. Okay. This is why you guys are clashing. Okay. It's because of this fantasy that a third party fed them. And whatever they fed them, it was bluff. It was like a lie. And this is why you and your divine masculine is in conflict. Period. Why is this fantasy here? <laughs> yeah. Somebody is in a fantasy about you, divine feminine. Mm -hmm. And it's because they're being distracted. <laughs> and this could be... The reason why this person is silent. So... I could be talking to a cross watcher. I could be talking to you, Capricorn. But your person is in a fantasy about you, boo. And this is what somebody wanted. This is somebody that is shallow. They're very empty inside. To the point that they're bored. <laughs> Why is influence here? Yeah, somebody influenced your twin flame. Some type of third party. And... They basically had faith that, you know, so this is the thing. You have a third party that influenced your twin flame to think that you guys' connection was a mistake. And what's really going on with, it's the battle of faith. Like, it's like... Whoever you're dealing with, this is somebody who shouldn't even be asking people about you. This is somebody who should be, you know, if I like you, I like you. But because they're allowed a third party to influence their decisions, they're in this energy, like I said, where they're confused. Like, they have some type of uncertainty and they're unclear and unsure because they allowed a third party to influence them when it came to you guys' connection or when it came to you, period. And this is what somebody wanted to do. They was hoping that they misunderstand you, okay? Why is bluff here? Yeah, somebody is pretending. Yes. This is somebody who is very charming, graceful, and kind-hearted. And because they have this heart fog, they're wearing a mask. So yeah, it's like if you if you believe your person is this charming, graceful, kind-hearted person, they are. But because they have like this black emotion, it's like they're messed up, bro. Like this person is messed up. Like they are. And this is the reason why you're picking up mixed signals from this person. It's because they're wearing a mask. And they're not showing you the beauty of their self. Like they're very charming, graceful, kind-hearted. This can also be you. Capricorn, my divine feminines. All right. I'm also 
coherent for my divine feminists. You could have been an illusion for a minute about yourself. You are a divine feminine. You have some type of influence around you. This could be your mother, your father. This could be your boyfriends, your girlfriends, your brothers, your sisters. You have people influencing you. Okay? This is the reason why you were wearing a mask. Or the reason why you wasn't being shown clearly. It's because you had people around you trying to influence you when it came to your twin flame. And they was hoping that you become their victim. It's like these peers, when it came to your twin flame, they was hoping that you was misunderstood. They was hoping, and, they, and this could also be switched. Like this could have been somebody hoping that you mistake somebody as your twin flame. This could have been somebody who wanted you to be a victim. They wanted you to be a lost soul. This is what somebody wanted. And it's like people wasn't able to see who you were with this mask. And it's because of this heart fog, you know? And it's like, don't beat yourself up if this is you because, I mean, some people are raised by dysfunctional ass parents and, you know, they think that's how shit goes and, you know, so don't really beat yourself up if this is you, but I really don't feel like this you. I feel like <laughs> somebody was in a fantasy when it came to you, Divine Feminine. Mm -mm -mm. Yes It's like somebody took a risk on you And it's because They was distracted mm -mm -mm. Like I said Somebody wanted to sidetrack this person Okay And this could have been their family <laughs> Their friends <laughs> You know People around them who they thought was You know Giving them good advice So let's see what's going on Yeah, I'm saying that you closed out a karmic cycle. Possibly with a fixed sign. This could have been a Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. I also heard Virgo, Aries. Yeah, somebody was playing mind games with you. This could have been an Aquarius. This is somebody who wanted to win at all costs, okay? <laughs> and they felt like they had to play some type mind games with you. But I'm saying that you closed out that cycle. Yeah, what I tell you? You closed out that cycle. You successfully completed a cycle. Seven of Pentacles, possibly with a Taurus. What I tell you, this is a King of Pentacles. Boy, this is a Taurus. This is a Taurus. With the world, Seven of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy. With the Seven of Swords, this person was lying to you. This could also be an Aquarius. Somebody was out here lying to you. And they was heavily invested with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And it's because they thought that they could receive something that was yours. Or this is somebody who wanted the same thing you was receiving. With this King of Pentacles being here, this could have been your child's father or your father. Okay? Hold on, y'all. But yeah. But yeah. Mm -hmm. This person was heavily invested. They wanted you to give to them. And they didn't care if they was a side piece with this Six of Pentacles. Capricorn. Yeah, with the Scrimp card. With the World card. You were strong enough to close out this karmic cycle. Possibly with a Leo. Yeah, with the High Priestess, you listen to your intuition. Not on ones. About this Sagittarius Leo energy who was in and out of your life. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. I'm saying that. Mm. You also need to listen to your intuition about a Sagittarius who's very impulsive and don't think before they take action. This person could be working with a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Moon card, in secret. But with the Justice, they're going to get fucking karma for whatever illusion they created. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah. They're being exposed. For what they was investing in. With the three of wands, this is about to come out. Now in the pinnacles of what somebody would do for money. Full card. I'm saying that you got somebody at a distance from you that's wanting to come towards you. They see you in this nine of pinnacles energy, such sufficient independent. And they're wanting to have a brand new beginning. With the ten of pinnacles, this could be somebody that you created a family with. Or this could be a Virgo family member. 
Yeah, who you walked away from. This can also be a Pisces. Why is this King of Pentacles here? For Capricorn? Yeah, this King of Pentacles. There's a King of Pentacles and a King of Cups here. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Three of Pentacles who work together. So there's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn masculine. And a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces masculine. That's the truth. Three of Pentacles, they work together. Two of Wands, and they chose this path. Four of Pentacles to try to hold you back. Hey, man, because they wanted to sabotage you. Hierophant, so this could have been a Taurus, Pisces. Yeah, that worked together. With this King of Pentacles, King of Cups to hold you back. Yeah, they wanted to play God in your life. And they went spying to see if it was working. <laughs> With the Six of Pentacles, like I said, somebody wanted to receive something that you was receiving. Or this is somebody who did not give a fuck if you had somebody. They wanted you to give to them too. Yeah, with the three of swords, now they heartbroken. Page of Pentacles, this is a childish ass Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Five of swords, who was playing mind games? This is somebody who wanted to win at all costs. Page of wands, because they thought they was going to receive some good news. Ten of wands, if they caused you a heavy burden. Hierophant, this could have been a Taurus, Sagittarius. Yeah, ten of cups, partner. So... You had a Taurus here who, this could be a leader, okay, in a group, is giving spiritual teacher leader or just somebody who wants control with the emperor being beside them, three of cups. This was a third party, a friend of yours. It's like you didn't solidify. So, like, say, like, Capricorn, if I am talking to a Capricorn masculine, this is somebody who is into the occultist. And this is somebody who you had as a third party. This was not your main bitch. This is the motherfucker who wanted to play God in your life. A Taurus or a Cancer or an Aries. Ten of Cups. This is somebody who saw you as their wish fulfillment. Ten of Wands. And they felt like it was, it was going to be hard to get you page of Wands. So they felt like they was going to receive good news. Five of Swords if they played mind games with you. Page of Pentacles, a childish ass, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, three of swords who possibly felt hurt by you. Six of Pentacles, because you could have breadcrumbed this person or you was, you know, you didn't solidify the relationship with this person. Period. Yeah, that's what it's giving. So they started playing mind games because they felt like it was going to be hard trying to make you, you know, solidify a relationship with them. Period. But the three of cups, this is somebody that you did not take serious. You did not make them your person. It's like they didn't get the cut. Why is Capricorn? You know, what's the tea for Capricorn? Yeah, somebody was out this bitch cop block. Uh-huh. Who? So somebody thought that if they cop block you, that you would be hooked on them? Like, I'm not getting it. Exactly. It's not making sense. Yeah, this is somebody who wanted some type of inside scoop. Okay? And it's because you was uninterested in them. Like I fucking said. Yeah. This is somebody who was in this girl fight energy. Okay? They wanted to rage war. They wanted to compete with whatever girl you was dealing with. And it's because you was uninterested in them. So they thought that they could get some type of inside scoop. This is somebody who was being nosy all up in your business. And it's because they was hooked on you. Trying to cop block. This is somebody who ego got hurt. Alright? And it was like this bitch happened to impersonate someone. Because they was feeling hunty. Because, like I said, this person wanted you to choose them, bruh. I, like, I don't know what else to say. This, Like I said, like this is somebody who felt like if they caught block, they got in the way of you and someone else, that you would be hooked on them. So they started trying to, like, get some type of inside scoop again. Because you was uninterested in them. This is giving a masculine reading. And it's partial feminine reading. Definitely if you are a third party watching for a masculine. Yeah. Page of Swords, somebody was watching, bro. This cop blocker. Four of Cups, and they realizing that they missed the opportunity. Script card, because you were strong enough. Lovers, to choose a different offer. Six of Cups in the past. Emperor, yes, I'm talking to a divine masculine. This is somebody who you had as an option. Who thought that they were smart. They thought they was going to be able to cop block. But you were smart enough mm -hmm, to choose someone else. And you was also strong enough. Why is hooked here? Yeah, six of cups. Somebody from your past was hooked on you. Three of cups. I cannot make this up. This is a third 
party. All right? This is somebody who you did not solidify the relationship with. Okay? Six of swords. You moved on from them. Four of swords. And because you did that, they've been trying to lay shit to rest for you. Like, inside school. Being nosy. If, boy, this was King of Pentacles. Five of Wands. This could have been a Taurus. Five of Wands. Who wanted to compete. Fight over you. Emperor. This could have, bro, I'm also hearing. This could have even been a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Who also pop, tried to put you in competition. Five of Wands. With an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Emperor. Ten of Wands, a Sagittarius. A yes, a Sagittarius. Ace of Swords. Emperor. This person. You got a fucking Sagittarius here. Okay? That's way the fuck down. Because this person was put in competition with you. Because of a Taurus, Ace of Swords. And that's the fucking truth. Seven of Pentacles. Yes, a Taurus was heavily invested in you competing with a Sagittarius. Okay, Ace of Swords, that's the fucking truth. Chariot, this person thought they was going to get some type of victory and success. Three of Pentacles. Mm-mm-mm. Mad, because you was uninterested in them. Why is uninterested here? Yes, Four of Pentacles, you held back from a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn scrim card. Yes. You held back your sexual energy, your sacred energy. No, you wasn't into this person. Lovers, yes, you held back from this lover, Ten of Pentacles, who had a family. Temperance with a Sagittarius, Five of Pentacles. This could have been a Taurus you left out in the cold. Nine of Pentacles, because they was trying to slow you up. Ten of Wands that caused you heavy burdens. Nine of Wands with a Sagittarius, Five of Wands, who they put you in competition with, period. This is a weird bitch. <laughs> Yo, this is a weird bitch. Mm-mm. Now they ego hurt. Okay, they ego hurt. Yeah. Because this was a bad choice. A bad fucking choice. Yeah. Once you got rid of that negative energy, you were able to flex. Yeah. I'm saying that somebody's ancestor money... So, the ancestor money is really looking out for your bloodline, but your ancestors want you to remember that mistakes can be forgiven, but t time can't, okay? You know, you could have been dealing with a Jezebel who wanted to sacrifice you, but they will die <laughs> before your dishonor. Yeah. They're coming to move close to you. This could be somebody who you was in a one-sided friendship with. They just want to take from you. This is also somebody who will fuck anything with a pussy in between their legs. Okay, I don't look. I don't know. They also want you to know that something was a premeditated murder. Somebody was plotting and got the drop. Okay? I don't know what that's about. Y'all got to tell me. All right, what's the closing message? Yeah, somebody is not okay. And it's because what you do for work, you're very talented in it. And you got some friends, possibly a group of three, who all teamed up together to do magic on you. And it's because it was in their pride and ego. And then they want to compromise something with you. Because something was all in their motherfucking head. They scratched the fuck out mad. Because you got evidence. Did somebody cause conflict with you? And now, they could be powerless. And it's like, if they did play with magic, like it is right here, there's some type of supernatural energy that's, like, tensing them. And this is possibly why they're not okay. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. People should really know how to mind their business. Like, for real. <laughs>